town, Mr Monaco, the late great Graham Hill, once described this iconic event. The cars we drive have come a long way in the intervening half century, but still we race on those same public roads beside the Mediterranean. There's no victory more coveted than that of the Monaco Grand Prix. We're on the French Riviera once more this weekend at the two-mile-long Circuit de Monaco. The cars will climb around 40 metres up the hill, past the casino and then descend towards the harbour through Sector 2. It's a very short run from pole position to the first of 19 corners and don't expect to see much overtaking here today. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position. And it's Fernando Alonso alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Sainz, Russell, Norris, Perez, Blue, Albon, Oscar Piastri, Hamilton, Gasly, Stroll, Ricardo, Bottas, Holkenberg, Joe, Ocon, Magnussen, and Yuki Tsunoda. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. OK, you know this, but this track needs a lot of downforce, and as such, we're not going to have quite the same top speed as other circuits. The good news, though, is that it's going to make our DRS even more powerful. So try to make the most of it in the race and quality if you can. Launch map is good, but we need to learn the gears, so go into each one when you can. We're going to need some work on the brakes, so put some energy into them and warm the tyres as well, please. Superb parking there, mate. Let's make sure we get the edge on the surrounding drivers as the lights go out. Keep an eye on the lights. The start sequence will begin as soon as the grid is formed. Be ready with a clutch. OK, we're monitoring somewhere on the internal combustion engine. Be aware that we're going to start to see a loss of power. That's a decent start, good job. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone.
No tyre concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. I'm not impressed with that. I've given you a clear instruction and you've ignored it. What's going on? We're going to box this lap and push hard on the in-lap. OK, here's the gap that we're trailing the car ahead by. 2.1 seconds. OK, so we're leading our teammate by 2.2 seconds. Okay, go, go, go. Perfect job on the turn in there, mate. Looks like a nice stop time. We're happy with that one. Okay, some information on Ricardo. Okay, it looks like the problem's terminal. They're retiring the car. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Alexander's in the pits. Alexander in the pits. OK, gap to the car ahead. 3.8 seconds. Car aheads come in to fit the mediums. Car ahead now running medium tyres. Job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Final lap, final lap, push, push. Okay, gap to the car in front, 2.5 seconds.
And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. For another nail-biting Monaco Grand Prix, we were on the edge of our seats the whole time, but they've come through to take a stunning victory. They led from lights out to the flag at the end, and their race victory was never in doubt, was it? Brilliant stuff by them. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everybody at the team. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.